Now, it seems as though the Rory saga is continuing. Yes, I say continuing. From all the drama that happened on the 18th green with Joe LaCarva, and then what happened in the car park, there is a missing piece to this puzzle that happened in the hotel foyer area. Now, this could be huge because if these rumors are true and what we're hearing from a caddy to a certain Fred Couples is true, then there could be more to say on this and more could be coming out in the next few days. Now, guys, welcome back to a brand new video here on Back Nine Films. This is your home of breaking news in the golf industry. And if you didn't see it, you're going to want to check out this video afterwards. The Marco Simone golf course, the Tented Village, went up in smoke. It was scary. I'm just so thankful that nobody got hurt because it looked terrifying if you ask me. The caddy in question here is Brooks Kepka's caddy, Ricky Elliott. He's a fellow Northern Irishman. Now, this is sort of, I guess, a strange situation for him. He caddies for Brooks Kepka and has done for a number of years. So he's very much on the Team USA side of things, even though if he was watching at home, he would probably be supporting Team Europe. So, so far, we know the caddies that were involved were Bones, who was caddying for Justin Thomas, formerly caddying for Phil Mickelson. We also then had Joe LaCarva caddying for Patrick Cantley at the Ryder Cup and has been for the last few months, but formerly the caddy to Tiger Woods. Well, hopefully he is again. Now, the whole drama started on the 18th green when Joe LaCarva was shaking his hat in Rory's face. Rory asked him to sort of step down and just give me a break. And Rory definitely felt that he didn't get the same chance to hold the putt that Cantley did because Joe LaCarva was very much in his eye line and being very off-putting. And I'm going to say right now, the overall consensus on the YouTube video that we put up on the day was very much that Joe LaCarva was in the wrong. This then erupted on the back of the 18th green, where the players like Luke Donald, Justin Rose, and Shane Lowry were involved. We then saw the aftermath of this in the car park, where Rory was being pulled back by Shane Lowry as he tried to give verbals towards Bones. Now, the missing piece to this puzzle happened in the hotel foyer. And this has all come to light when Ricky Elliott was speaking to Fred Couples. Freddie Couples is one of the backroom staff, one of the vice captains, and he's been speaking on a podcast where more of this information has come to light. So it says here, Brooks Kepka's caddy, Ricky Elliott, has revealed to Fred Couples how his fellow Northern Irishman, Rory McIlroy, took things out on him back at the hotel following a heated argument with Patrick Cantley's caddy, Joe LaCarva, on the Saturday night of the Ryder Cup. Couples revealed a few fresh details about Rory's bus stop with LaCarva speaking at the PGA Tour radio this week. Now, McElroy has been sort of in a place where I get it, right? And you know what? I love the idea of how Rory McElroy sort of galvanated his team for the Sunday. I guess probably not in the way that he did, but what I liked about it this time was the passion for Rory's golf was just coming out on the golf course. I feel like Rory did his talking on the course. Like, yes, it boiled over afterwards, but that was just showing his passion. And I'm not going to lie. This is what golf's been missing. This is why team golf or the Ryder Cup, especially, you wouldn't see this on a day-to-day -day thing, would you? You wouldn't see this on a regular PJ Tour event. You wouldn't see this on a regular live event. You wouldn't see this on any other event apart from this stage. That's why it makes it so special. Joe LaCarva took things too far. Rory responded. Team responded. It's because people want to win so badly. Now, this is what was said. Brooks Kepka's caddy, Ricky Elliott, said, he went at me in the middle of the foyer area at the hotel. Now, the details to what he said have not yet emerged. I've done my digging. I've done my research. We haven't found them. But as soon as we do, we will let you know. But all we know is that there are three pieces to this puzzle now. The 18th green slash the back of the 18th green, the car park, and then the hotel foyer. It'll be interesting when this comes out. I'm sure we will find out because this is a huge breaking news story that Rory has sort of taken this even further when getting back. But you know what? I don't blame him. I'm fully on your Rory side with this. Now, whose side are you on? Are you on the side of Team America here or sort of the side of Rory took it a little too far? 
Or are we on the side of, yeah, Rory, you know what? I love the passion. I love the anger. I love the way you galvanized your team. I would love it if you let me know. These breaking news stories are all about us having a debate. And this is our chance to have that. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the bell when we've got another breaking news story.